presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Andy in Boulder, Colorado. Hey, Andy, what's going on, brother? Not much, Tom. How you been? I'm great, man. Yourself? Pretty good. Hey, congratulations on the grandbaby. Yes, thank you. I know. <laughs> he just said, Tommy just sent me a picture. I mean, it's gorgeous out right now. He just was taking him out for his first walk this morning. All He's right. growling and prowling already. Yeah, I bet. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about taking action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 696, NASDAQ's up 339, SPs are up 101, gold contract trading down a dollar twenty at 1709 flat. Silver's off 16 cents, $18.67 an ounce. Light sweet crude up at buck thirty-six at one oh three ninety five notes and bonds. The ten year note down sixteen six one seventeen thirty one. The thirty year off nineteen at one thirty eight twenty one. And King Dollar King Dollar is down six hundred and fifty two ticks trading at one oh six seven fourteen. The euro is at one oh two. The yen is trading at a price point of one thirty eight. The British pound is at one nineteen to one U S dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, market wants higher price. We're coming up to the swing. It looks like the S&P is also going to close above one of the swings, not the, the second one. So the first swing, which was the last swing that was established out here on the 6th of July, that swing is uh, 390.64, we're at 392.06. The next swing... Okay, is that uh, 393.16? Um, hey, we'll see whether it attacks it today. Uh, doesn't have enough volume. We'll see. If we, if we close right underneath it, man, it's going to be a big deal because that'll blow through this in about two seconds. That being said, let's get over to and look at the NDX 100. For the Qs, uh, basically, SMH is leading the Qs, the Qs are leading the NDX, uh, and the NDX is dragging everything up with it. So, what do we have? They're at the Qs right now. The swing point on the Qs, 296.57. You're at 298.15. Well, we needed 54 million shares there. It's going to be, we, we could very well get 54 million. We're at 40 right now. So you get the 54 million. That's telling me that we're going up to that 314.56 area. Right now, that's going to be, your benchmark out here is going to be the June 2nd high for right now. That's how this baby shakes out. Gold, gold contract out here still hasn't caught a bid. Bottom line is that you get uh, 124,000 contracts out here today. You're backing down. You're actually going sideways. There's no sellers either, but there's no buyers. So you're at 124,000 contracts. That's light contract volume. When we came down last week, those couple days, you came down hard and fast, man. I think it was 200. Let me pull this up. Yeah, the first day was 301,000 contracts. The second day was 266. So the selling's gone. Now the real question is, are we going to get any buyers? And let's go over to King Dollar. So King Dollar is ruling the whole deal. There's no two ways about that. And you get King Dollar. Had some follow through out here. Now the number to keep your eye on the King Dollar as we come into this close here, and we're right at it, is the 106,792. What that is, folks, is this. Is that we, you know, well, King Dollar's been going up for six months straight. That being said, on the, whoop, get, let me get rid of that one. There we go. On the 5th of July, that's when King Dollar took off like a rocket ship and went up 1,700 ticks. So the top of that is the 106,792. Now we're into it, but we're only into it by 92 ticks. If we can get into that deeper 
Bottom line, that'll say it's going to go on back to that area. Then your next benchmark is going to be the high that was established out here in May. Uh, that number is 105.005. If you basically, you know, if we, if we get into this bar, now this will be the really cool thing. If we get into the bar deeper, the bottom line is your probability goes much higher you're going to get to the bottom line. Then you're dealing with the swing point in May. You get underneath that, and then guess what? You're going to be right back down to this uh, 101, 289. So if you're trading this market, uh, keep your eye on the dollar because the correlation is absolutely direct. Dollar down, market gets breathing room. Dollar up, market gets strangled. It's that cut and dry. We go take a look at, uh, let's go to Twitter because what's happened here, Elon Musk is going to be in for a shock, folks. I mean, it's going to be really interesting. You know, he's, he plays with the law on a continual basis. No doubt about that. Uh, but guess what? <laughs> the Chancery Court is a whole different animal. And so what you get is it. So let's, I'm going to go through this for you so you can actually see what came down here. Because the, and you get, remember something, the Chancery Court of Delaware, okay, is not your typical court. It's not even close, okay? They, it's, all the corporations are there. They're, well-versed in all the legalese, and they're also well-versed on Wall Street being sharks and screwing each other on a continual basis. So here's what came down. Twitter uh, can fast-track its lawsuit against billionaire Elon Musk over the canceled $44 billion buyout. Uh, the Delaware Ch Ch Chief, Just Chief Judge ruled Tuesday that a five-day trial should take place in October. The decision is an early victory for Twitter. Um, lawyers for the San Francisco-based Twitter had said they needed only four days to prove that the world's richest man must honor his agreement to pay $54.20. Um, the, let's see, under the buyout agreement, Musk is ob ob obligated to finalize the deal within two days of all the closing conditions being met. These conditions will be met in early September. Uh, and the bottom line, the judge said that in asking for a February trial, Musk lawyers underestimated the ability of this court to quickly process complex legal disputes over merger and acquisition cases. The bottom line, folks, this is how this goes, okay? It's specific performance. And what specific performance is, they can get you for the whole ball of wax, okay? And the financing, so check out the, how this is going to work. That's why they wanted this trial in October, because the financing is already in place, and the financing is good, I believe, till April 23rd of 2023. My take, guess what? He's either going to come up with a huge amount of money to bail out, or they, they, he's going to buy it. He's gonna, they're going to make him buy it. And yes, they can make him buy it. That's the mind blower about this whole deal. <laughs> so it's going to be intriguing watching this whole thing shake out. This may be the first time that Musk, you know, basically plays with the rules and gets burnt in a monster way, okay? Because the bottom line, it is what it is. And yeah, Dow. Dow right now is trading up 698. NASDAQ's up 336. S&Ps are up 100. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up to 702. Nasdaq's up 342. S&P's up 101. There was a question, uh, and this is a great question, like, especially for Tesla and uh, Musk, because he's got away with so much. How would you make him pay? Well, this is how it works, folks. I actually have a company in Delaware. When you're in a Delaware company, they're all C corporations, okay? Bottom line, you agree to go with all, around to the laws of the Chancery Court, okay? The bottom line, the court goes against you, guess what? Bang, right on you, you have a lien. That's how that works. This lien will be picked up. I mean, yeah, this is a whole different, that's why I was kind of explaining it. It's a whole different ball game. So yeah, if it goes against him, even if he doesn't pay it, guess what? They're gonna get his money, you know? So it's gonna be really intriguing watching this whole thing out. Um, I suspect he's gonna have to make a deal and it's gonna, it's gonna be more than the, see the, the the way it's structured, everyone's talking about, yeah, you have a billion dollar give up fee, but that's not it. They're going for specific performance. They know they have a deal. They're going for the whole ball of wax. And so it's going to be more than a billion, even on a, so, uh, uh, a settlement. That's how, that's how I suspect this is going to go. But it's going to be cool watching. It's going to be cool watching specifically because this is what's going on, which I explained a couple weeks ago, but in case I'm sure we always get new listeners, is that Musk attorney so check this out so the attorney i mean the judge just that just ruled for twitter had, that was just a fast track which is normal anyway particularly on a takeover because they know that the funds to buy it are only good until april that being said musk attorney okay is the attorney in 2001 that set this president, he was the Supreme Attorney, as this woman is the Supreme Attorney now, the Chief Justice of the Delaware Court Chancery Court. So his attorney is the one that set this president, so it's really gonna be wild watching it because his attorney is gonna be going against the namesake attorney, him, of the decision that was in 2001, it was a, um, I think a Tyson chicken deal, I, I went through it before. So it's going to be wild, man, that, that he's going to be fighting, saying, no, no, my decision wasn't right then, and that's what they've used for 21 years now. So we'll see where it shakes out. Market wise out here, let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here inside of this marketplace. You have uh, Advanced Micros up 457. You get NVIDIA up 859. Uh, Amazon's up 420. You got Intel up a buck and a half. You got... Uh, IBM's down 760. 
Tesla's up $16. You got uh, Facebook up eight. Let's go take a look at Big Blue. Big Blue just blew it again on a continual basis. And, you know, the bottom line is that they've been buying Big Blue in a, in a big way. And guess what? No way, Jose. That bottom line is that it gave it up in spades again, man. It just can't make it. You're back in the range. Big Blue will now make a run down to 114. You're at 130. It couldn't get over the consolidation. The top of the consolidation uh, was running up here. It kept spiking up um, up into these 142s. Just gave it up. And let's, guess what? You can't bust them up. You're going to bust them down. So pretty crazy, man. Netflix. Let's go take a look at Netflix because we have with Netflix. Netflix. It's going to be coming out with numbers after the close. Uh, this equity has got absolutely toasted, roasted, all of the above. Lows 162, the high 700. They're going to be coming out at 4 o'clock today. And what's that number right there? So the bottom of that's 212. Okay, we'll see what gets 212. Let me pull this back more and see what this is going into. Okay, so you're over 195. You already tested the bottoms. Yeah, Netflix can get a pop. I mean, what you have here is this, okay? So, so picture, this has been a straight move down since 700, right? It was going into a breakout area from 2018. Now, when it first came into it, it was way too much volume. The breakout area had 238 million shares. Well, you come into it, with 251 million, but then guess what? No, you come into it with 403 million. Then you tested it though with 251 and rejected it. Now you're inside that big bar, which is 185.60. So that's saying Netflix can get some traction out of here, you know. So we'll see what the uh, numbers bring, but that's how that baby is set up at this particular point. Inside the Dow Industrials, this. Let's go look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. We take a look at the Dow Industrials out here. You got... Okay, so point-wise, this is what you have. You have uh, Goldman putting 115 points, United Health 74, Boeing 53, Home Depot 42. Taken away from it, the big one is IBM. 51 negative points, Johnson & Johnson uh, 22. Inside the NDX 100, what do we have? We know the chip stocks are going to be in there, man. Yeah, so well, look at this, Match.com, what the heck's going on there? That's up 8%. You got Marvel Technology, Chip Stock up 7%, AMD up 6.5%, and Align Technology uh, up 5.6%. Uh, There's only two stocks that are uh, inside the NDX 100 that are actually in the red, and that is uh, Exelon is only down $0.09, cents, and you have uh, Dollar Tree is off uh, $0.09 cents too. Every other stock inside that NDX 100 is running to higher prices. This is uh, this is going to be this is a fun market, but this is going to get crazier because now what the, what the deal is, folks. You know we've tested the lows so many times that now the question is going to be, okay, where's the turn? And you know this this market is just deviant enough, and we've tested those lows just enough that. Um, I'm going to ride this thing higher, man. I mean, because the bottom line is that we'll see how this thing reacts. Not at the swing point we're at right now. Uh, at the next swing point, that the next swing point in the cash S and P. So th on the cash S and P, we're at 39.32, 39.32, right? 39.45 is the swing, the bigger swing. The biggest swing that I suspect we're going for though is 41.77. And if that's what we get, now watch this. This is cool. Take like the bottom of this because if you take the bottom of this consolidation, also. More than likely, you're going to get the same prices. Let me see. 39.45. That's 300. So that would be 42.95. And it's 41.77. There's 42 up here. Interesting. Oh, look at this. What's that? Yeah. We're, we're talking 4,200 here, man. Yeah. 41.77. Is the hip? I, I suspect what we're going to see is that you're going to you're going to get like 4,200 or something. It's going to be. Let's put it this way: it's going to be something that's outrageous. <laughs> that's the bottom line, and that's that's how markets move, man. That's particularly how bear markets move, and what 
what normally happens is that I was looking at the, so what we did not get today also is this. So when you get spikes like this, here, let me show you, folks, if I put up the tick, what I was looking for, just, you know, in this run up, like, okay, man, um, do you have people that, you know, do you have the tick down so low and you don't? What you have, when you look at that, it looks like 17, plus 17, 14, but it's not. You don't count the open or the close on any of the ticks or trends, folks, okay? Bottom line, the biggest tick reading that we got, because now today you'd be looking for positive. It's a positive 1284. Now, what that means is that even as you're running higher, pe if people that are shot, well, they're not closing right now because when they close, you see that tick explode two plus 16, 17, 18 hundredths intraday not on the open stay right there folks we'll come right back if you want to take advantage of this sector now is the time to subscribe to my gold report the gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold which is the currency and bond markets New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up uh, 692. Nasdaq's up 336. S&Ps are up 100. Let's go to John in New York. John, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good. Good. I, uh, I I took the opportunity of the gift from the guard, the currency guards to buy the euro, and I'm going to uh, Italy September 5th. That's a beautiful thing, man. Holy cow! Good for you. <laughs> I know. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And you yeah. know, we'll see whether that was it, man. It, whether that was it when we went par. Well, it that way went to down to 99, I guess. That is so cool. And you go to Italy. That's even better. Oh my God. <laughs> So you what part of Italy are you going to? to I'm sorry, what? Do you, do you think, still think uh, the euro will go down to 90? It has a chance to go down there? Hey, we'll, we'll see. Right now, the dollar's going down, the euro's going up. Well, the ECB is going to raise rates, I heard, half a point. 
That's right. And that, that the more they raise rates, the stronger the euro will get. That's how that works. Mm -hmm. Versus the well, U.S. dollar. I think I got enough money for now. Enough euros, anyway. There you go. Um, short term, would you buy... Oh, well, you just cut out me, but I think you want NVIDIA, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, NVIDIA's a buy. buy. NVIDIA's a buy. It's up 8 bucks right now. Uh, and, you know, look at this volume in NVIDIA. I mean, it's good volume. It started yesterday, man. It had the volume yesterday. gave it up in price. You get up to 166 yesterday. It closed out at 161. You had 67 million. You're going to have 70 million today. Your swing point only has 42. That tells me NVIDIA is also going to go up to June 1st, which is 196, and you're at 169. Yeah. All right. Cool, Sounds man. <laughs> well, you have a great time in Italy, man. Thank you, Tom. Drink lots of wine, lots of lemons, lots of olives. Oh, my God. Yeah. Cooking, brother. Uh, the food is great. It is. It's amazing. I know, man. <laughs> have a great one. Have a safe one. Let's go to man John in Philly. John, what's happening, brother? Hey, uh, Tommy. How you doing, man? Good day to you, sir. So, copper, right? Yes, Tom, I wanted to ask, um, Tom, um, copper from the 2020 bottom to the top right after the Ukrainian invasion, uh, it was like 195 up to 505. The FIB 618 support mark was three dollars fourteen. The low last Friday was three dollars thirteen. I speculate the the I speculate copper futures stopped going down there, likely bottomed, and now will rally. That's what I speculate. I'm wondering if you can take a look at things the way you do, and tell me if you think there's a shot of that happening. Yeah, let's take a look at it now. If you're watching Tiger TV, folks. As John just explained this, I put the FIB numbers up so you can see that straight out, man, uh, the 382 is 319.04. Now, this is on the continuous, so bottom line is it bounced off that, uh, you know, 0.618 retracement. There's no doubt about that. And the cool thing, the, the, so the, here we go, one second. The cool thing about your question, John, right, is that what I would do, and I'm sure you're doing the same thing, is take the trend down now, just the last trend, and say, okay, what's the point three eight two on the way back up? And that's three eighty six, and that could be no three, yeah, three sixty nine, three sixty nine, and that could just be a dead cat bounce. You see, I mean, so you don't have to be right in the context so you get a full turnaround, right? You know that if it's a dead cat bounce, you still got good good dolls in it. Indeed. You know, and as you look at price and volume, what do you see, if anything? Let's let me put this on this contract. HG, the active contract. Okay, so we get we're back to the active contract now, so we can get the volume characteristics. Okay, so yeah, you get to run into trouble on the on the daily at three forty. You can see this, you know, you're off with the 62,000 contracts. You made a bottom with 80,000. You're coming into 107,000 contracts. What I, it, if I can throw like a fundamental deal out to you, John, what I see happening, and that's why I think the weaknesses in copper, is that you, you know how folks for so many years, and I'm, I'm going back now 10 or 15 years. You know, they were always saying, oh, China is building so much, okay, all these ghost apartments, it's going to blow up and all this, right? Well, if we fast forward to today, 2022, on the 19th of July, it has blown up. And the way it's blown up, though, is not how people, any of us actually thought. It's blown up in the aspect, John, that if you and I had bought a pad, right, the bottom line is that you're going to pay the mortgage even when... The place is not delivered, and now that has all changed. This is quite a dynamic change, man, that I think China's going to have a hard time with. And I think, yeah, I just don't know where the end is going to be, you know, because they're, boy they're boycotting pain. So if they're boycotting pain, what's going to happen is you're going to have less developers because China, the, the China will have to come up with the money. 
that's the bottom line for the banks. But now, if we're talking new building and new copper, I don't see them doing that. You see what I'm saying? It's a double bang alike. I do. So, yeah, Tom, that's an excellent point. If if this does keep going lower and breaks under that 310 mark in the coming weeks and or months, that that uh, demand destruction, that's that's likely going to be one of the key factors. So thanks for bringing that up. All right. And then, you know, I think what's on the table, now this is really intriguing, but what's on the table, man, you know, I was thinking about this last night. So check this out, folks. This is pretty cool, actually. So picture that when you have, you know, we're in the markets every day. And, you know, years ago, I used to always say, you know, the market's bigger than everyone, right? So think about this, John. This is really kind of cool, man, that the market itself is bigger than Z, uh, not you, Z, you know what I'm saying, the, the premier, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, G, right. Yeah, G, that, thank that. you. <laughs> and, and the market is, and the market's going to take them down, man. That's the bottom line. That's, that's, that's how I think this is shaking out. That, you know, it, it, and this is what happens, folks, in markets all the time. It seems to come from somewhere that you don't realize, and I think that role, man, is there, and the role's going to be that there's so many retail people that bought houses and when you're doing business folks um in the asian community the way it works is this and i've done plenty of business in the, in the 80s to 90s i i did so much business with the vietnamese it's unbelievable and one of the reasons that they can accelerate so quickly is that they really are a family community unit so what ends up happening is that you know and most immigrants are like this we you know my family was like this i saw when i was a little kid Everyone puts the money in a pot, okay, and then you help each other, okay? That's what they have going on over there. And so that's blown up, man. So he's got some problems, man. And, you know, we'll see where it shakes out. But I, I think uh, we're going to be, you know, they're going to be printing a lot of money. That's the real bottom line. They're going to have to print a lot of money to get uh, this thing straightened out. And I think that's affecting uh, some of these commodity prices. That's what it comes down to. Tom, thanks so much for the thoughts. Appreciate okay, man. It. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 688. NASDAQ's up 328. S&Ps are up 99. And uh, King Dollar. King Dollar is uh, down 651. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. TFNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstad has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, Aussie Dollar dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow is up 724. Nasdaq's up 341. S&Ps are up uh, 101. Let's go take a look at Disney. So uh, Disney, bottom line, uh, when we take a look at the low for the year is 90. The high is 187. Uh, next time they come out with the numbers is going to be on the uh, 10th of August. They had a couple announcements this week. That was strong, no doubt about that. Um, I like the setup. Uh, let me pull this back. Okay, so, well, first off, here, yeah, let's take a look at it. It's been a one-way route on the way down. Okay, so we've gone from 156. You hit a low last week out here of uh, 90. Now, let's back it down. Let's see what we came into. Okay, <laughs> look at this. Unbelievable. So when you look at this longer, you went from 203 down right into the March swing area. So the low of the March swing area, now watch how this shakes out, because this is going to be really important at the end of this week. The low of the March swing area is 79, and we hit 90. The high of that is 98.28. Now, we're at 99.51. Once you get, you, this is going to be a rejection. That's what it looks like. If it's a rejection of lower price, bottom line, then just start going up to the swings. The next stop would be 113. And let's get this closer now because the way to do this, just when I was, we were talking with John from Philly, is that the way, you, the, this is what's cool, folks, okay, when you've done such a vicious downdraft, is that you can just take a .382 of the downdraft and see what a dead cat bounce would be. Now, in Disney's place, I'm not going to take the high. I'm just going to take the last leg down. That last leg down started at 140. So if we take the last leg down and just see what a .382 is, that's 117. So what's cool about doing something like that is that you don't have to be right on the full turn. It's inch by inch as you go higher and all lower. And in this case, it's going to be inch by inch higher. So what you do... First, you, you, you take your downtrends, right? You take the 0 .382 of it, because the 0 .382 is a dead cat bounce, and we get a bounce going. If we start getting volume in as it starts clean, climbing higher, bottom line, you get more confident in the position. But more than likely, you're going to probably get a 0 .382 of the leg that was established. And in, in Disney's case, here, yeah, I'll, I'll show you. They, they, so just to get some context on this, right, is that they... So what happens is this. In the, in the media market, folks, right, what ends up happening is they call it an upfront market. And what Disney did on the upfront market, okay, these numbers came in yesterday. It's never been so high, okay? Disney said advertisers agreed to buy $9 billion worth of commercials over its various channels and streaming services for the 22-23 season. Now, this is after they already went up on the ESPN deal, okay? The bottom line is that this is the highest upfront in the history of the company, you know, bottom line is that this thing's going, man. You know, they, they don't have to. What happens is this. And trust me, when I sell advertising, when you get a big deal like that, yeah, you can lay back a bit. But the bottom line is that it accelerates everything else. Because what happens is that then the other advertisers understand there's only so many more places. When there's only so many more places, what do you think they can do? They can raise the prices. That's how that works. So, so I think Disney 
has some action uh, going topside right now. That's how that's how it's setting up. And if we take a look, let's just see what they claim they're going to do. So if we look at their revenue, oh yeah, look at this man. Look at this. Okay, so for 2022, next quarter they're going to do 21 billion. For the year, 84 billion. But guess what? As long as COVID doesn't take us south again, next year, 94 billion. So you're talking about just a monster expansion, man. Huge expansion. 84 billion to 94 billion. And then they're going from a, a you know, making $3.86 for a year to five forty two. And, you know, no matter where you go, folks, everything's busy. You know, it's, it's, there's no doubt about that. that. The airlines, there's no doubt about the airlines. They have to get that uh, in, but... Guess what? There's so many, there's so many, there's so many people in Florida, man, um, and they just keep coming. Well, I was down Clearwater Beach over this weekend, and it's pretty amazing how many folks. This is just what I call them stay vacations. Just come from Florida and go to other places in Florida. It's huge. I mean, it's like insane, man. Every it's like everyone's on vacation, man. So, hey, we'll see where it shakes out. Let's go take a look at this uh, E-mini, because this thing wants to run right into the close. So you got, uh, we got 13 minutes here at 107 on your, let's just see, <laughs> really, this would be really, oh, look at this. You got me another ABC up. Yep, it's going to be. Here we go. Okay, what do we got? So it's uh, another ABC up intraday. Let me see if I can get the whole thing. Okay, so 39.38. Okay. Twenty-four. So I got twenty-eight, thirty-eight, forty-eight, fifty-two. Thirty-nine, fifty-two is the number, man. You're going to thirty-nine, fifty-two. You got another ABC up. And folks, if you don't understand the ABC structures up or down, get over to Amazon. Get my book. Uh, you actually, you know what you should do? Well, you can do. That's one way you can do it. Okay. Another way you can do it, if you go to TFNN and you go to services. You can go through the whole workshop. The workshop's archived. It was uh, about four and a half to five hours. You get the workshop plus my book. Now, it's more expensive, of course, than just a book. But bottom line, if you want to, we're in an ABC market, folks, up and down. When the, for some reason, what I've seen is this. Price, volume, Fibonacci sequences, right, work much better in fast markets. They just do. They, that's when they just, they just bounce, 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 and whatever it is, it is. And I think over the course of the years, what it has to do with more than anything is that the markets are out of control. But if they, when they're out of control, it's a better market. Well, it's a better market for me. Let's put it that way. <laughs> it's a better market for how Fibonacci expansion <laughs> contraction works. Let's, you know, so. We'll see where the rest of this is going to shake out. Let's go into the oil market and see where this oil market is, where it's looking to go. Oil right now is trading 103.95. Okay. Come on, come on. Okay, so look at the, oh, no, wrong one. CL, active contract. Okay, CLQ. Okay, so we got 3,300 contracts. Yeah, it's not good. Okay, so oil's getting, this is getting weak in a big way, yeah. So the next swing point on oil is 105.24. Uh, but bottom line is that, that that, as we're climbing into that, that looks to me like that's going to be it. Um, kind of, that's how that baby is shaking out right now. The, uh, if we go over to the Dow Industrials, we take a look at the Dow, because I believe the Dow is over the swing point, the first swing. It is. Uh, no, no, it's not. No, it's not. Look at this. So interesting. Oh, it's over the first swing. Going after the second. The second swing is uh, 31,885. You're at 31,806. The Qs are going to be over, though. The Qs, I think, are over both of them. It is. The Qs are over both of them. The Qs are on the way, man. And you're 45,000. You get 54. Probably not going to get the volume, but the Qs want to run this, this 314, man. And right now you're at 298. And guess what? You get two days left in the week. 
that's a good situation. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 720, Nasdaq's up 338, S&Ps are up 102. Let's go to our man Jose in Spring Hill. Jose, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom, Tom, get out the fire hose. CDNS is on fire. It is. It is. You got Cadence Design. The low is 132. The high is 192. You're trading 161. And, you know, these chips, man, the bottom line, the chips get action. So, you know, you need a little more volume here, Jose, but I suspect this thing is going to try to, you know, bottom line, take the first swing out, which is you're right next to it, 163.19. So, oh boy! All right, so I, I actually sold them at about one sixty one fifty, uh, one sixty one sixty, about an hour ago. So you're saying if oh, you get great. up to the with this new with, with this ABC, well, you got a new ABC going. You said it can get to one sixty three. The no, no, you don't have an ABC here. But what you have is that you, you see you're coming into this one sixty two. 19 and you hit 162.13 and you don't you only have like 890 million shares but i suspect what's going to happen is this the, the the broad market itself and the ndx in general and of course the chip stocks folks this this company is one of the most important companies in the world because they design all these complex chips that nvidia and everyone else uses okay so the bottom line is i expect it's going to take this 163 out and you know it, 
and probably try okay, to. They, 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 they report earnings Monday. Oh, they do. Tuesday. Interesting. Okay. Well. Yeah. Then I you, don't like holding stuff all when earnings. No, you that's don't. No, no. You don't. Uh, Particularly, you don't because what's going on is that that's coming into that swing. The volume is lightening up. Okay. And the bottom line, you know, we know Cadence is going to be fine in the in the longer run, but you know, yeah, they probably they yeah. may be light. Do you know what I mean? Just just hold on because yeah. the bottom line is if if they back down, you know, on a back down, I'd be buying it. I believe. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad I get out this afternoon. Uh, hey, I'm up here in Spring Hill, Tom. There are trusses. Every street you turn down, there are trusses lying on the ground. New construction going on everywhere. Now heck? I know Spring Hill's turning into a monster city, and it's beautiful. I know, man. Yeah. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Thank you. Always remember, folks, the bank and client. <coughs> Excuse me. The bank and client hide out the book and run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 in the morning. Great show, folks.